to <laughs> let's start again let's come before the Lord and this time I won't click the wrong thing he said <laughs> the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end Amen our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth so a moment of reflection and we say together most merciful God we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought word and deed and in what we have failed to do forgive us our sins heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ Amen before the ending of the day creator of the world we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep from evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know O father that we ask be done through Jesus Christ your only son and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 143 Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness, enter not into judgment with your servant. For in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me crushing my life to the ground making me sit in darkness like those long dead my spirit faints within me my heart within me is desolate i remember the time past i muse upon all your deeds i consider the works of your hands i stretch out my hands to you my soul gasps for you like a thirsty land O oh lord make haste to answer me my spirit fails me Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul. For truly, I am your servant. Glory, oops. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Mark thirteen thirty five to forty. Mark thirteen thirty five to the end of the chapter. Keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or at dawn. Or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. What I say to you, I say to all. Keep awake. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, 
I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Come, O Lord, and visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Come, O Lord, and visit us in peace that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. Father, we pray for all this night who are in peril, all this night who fear, who are in danger, who are beset by problems. Lord, we lift to those this night as we prepare for bed who need a touch from you. We pray for ourselves that you would be with us. And Father God, we thank you for your presence felt, known and believed in this day, in us and in the lives of all. Father, as we bring all of our hopes and fears our joys and our sadness to you as we prepare to go to our beds and pass the baton of praise on to the next nation as we reach our beds those to the west of us and beyond sing your praise and stand in your light touch us touch this world we pray lord in your mercy Hear our prayer. And Father God, as our Prime Minister is having a meal, reversal of on Leyen, we pray that their discussions will be good and profitable. We pray for all negotiations tonight which would bring peace and unity for the UK and Europe Lord for North and South Korea that they might do the same for our ununited nation at the moment that Scotland, Ireland, Wales and England might find a common ground and work together for peace and productivity and well-being Father God, bring peace to those in leadership, that they might serve you and know your presence. And we thank you for our Queen, a woman who bows the knee to you and rules in her job, as she feels God has called her to. Lord, bless her and Philip, and may all leaders take her as a model to learn from. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so, Lord, we lift to you, Cat, this night, and we pray for Jan as she prays for her mum. We pray for Gisela as she prays for Kevin. For Dorothy as she prays for Patsy and the whole family. For Maureen Williams, for Bob and Morag, for Alan and Joan, for Enid, for John, for Stan, for Molly and Mary, for Betty and Beryl and Derek and Derek Pritchard, Philip's continued recovery and for his brother's health, 
for Emma and for Ian and for Hannah. Linda and her family. For Elaine and Olive. I pray for Diane Murray and her family. For those we know who are pregnant, those we know whose lives are in dark places, those we know whose lives are beset by job loss and financial difficulty. And we pray for ourselves, Lord, that you would touch and bless us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Lord, raise, raise up, we pray, your power and come among us, and be great might succour us, that whereas through our sins and wickedness we are grievously hindered in running the race set before us, your bountiful grace and mercy may speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honour and glory now and for ever. Amen. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. So come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. Restore us again, O God of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. Bless and keep us this night and always. Amen. Guys, thank you for being with us tonight. Sorry, it was a bit rocky. Something's changed on the on the presentation, and I can't understand quite what's happened. But there you go. That's the way it happens, I suppose. Take care. Stay safe. Talk to you soon. Sleep well. Bye.